Alright everybody, welcome to the first little tutorial video. Um, if we're looking at this, this is actually our oblique assignment from last Friday. This is one of the examples that we did together. Alright, so for that example we had an actual set of wooden blocks. So this will be a little bit different since we're working from the drawing. Um, but this drawing, it was three wooden blocks across the bottom and one wooden block glued to the top. Okay, so that's what we're going to go with. Each wooden block we said was three of our grid spaces in each direction. And so we're going to start with that. Okay, we had our three across the bottom, which was nine total. Okay, so we're going to start with drawing our first set of lines, nine across the bottom, just like this. All right, and then we can follow the shape along. If we notice, it comes around and back down in sets of individual blocks. Okay, so each set is three. So then we'll go up by three. Okay, over by three. We're going to go up by three. And just follow along this front shape first. Okay, we're not going to add any depth yet. We really just want to show that first front shape. Especially with oblique drawings, we really have that front face flat on our grid before we add our depth. So that's why we want to start with the front. Okay, so now we have this front shape right here. All we need to do next is add in our depth. Okay, if you notice up here, our depth goes diagonally from corner to corner on these grid boxes, okay? So you should not be making any other angle down here, up further up. You want to make sure it's from one corner to the next corner in your grid. Okay, so if you notice this one we go two. All right, so here we're going to go for each of these. We're going to go for each of these two across this way for each corner. All right, so just like this for each of these corners. Just like that. Okay, if you notice, we didn't do this one in here, and we didn't do this one down here because those would intersect with the front of the face and so if you're looking at this object in real life you're not going to see these back corners we're not looking through something clear okay so now we have our depth just like this and all we need to do is close these off okay so we can go across on the grid lines again across the top here this one kind of <laughs> is actually the top edge of our paper for right now we bring this one down this one over this one down Okay, the last step we have is we have tonal shading. Okay, so for tonal shading, our front would be this side. It's a little hard to see. Okay, um, this is our right hand side, so just our side for right now. Okay, and looking down at it this way is the top. Okay, whenever we do tonal shading, you leave the tops blank, so all three of these areas would be blank. And then we shade the sides in really dark, and then the front is kind of halfway. Okay, so we start with the sides. Usually I find is easiest, um, but whatever works for you is perfectly fine. So we shade this in pretty dark. It doesn't have to be as dark as you can, but just pretty dark. Okay, we do the same thing for here since we see this side or this part from the side as well. Okay, so these two would be the darkest. Then we have the front, it's going to be our half shade. So again, not super light, not super dark, just somewhere in between, just to show depth. Okay, this tonal shading is really just here to make sure that we don't accidentally try and look at some outline and try and think that it's looking in a different direction or anything. Okay, and then this is it. So this is, would be our finished drawing for our oblique 